What's up, feeder country? Back out here in the garage today. Welcome to another episode. Today, we are answering the question as to what is happening with Project Stormy Pipes, my triple project that just blew up recently on its second ride. Well, here's your answer. Stormy Pipes is currently living on the side of my house. I have pulled the motor because whether I build a new motor or I part it out, it needed the motor pulled and it'll be a lot easier to move it with the motor out of it. So, Stormy Pipes, sorry, but RIP to Stormy Pipes for now. I've got something new to show you guys in here. Y'all know how I like to be dramatic with these reveals. Here we go again. What do we got? Oh yeah. I went ahead and did the right thing and bought another triple. It's a Yamaha SRX. You know, everyone was saying that the uh, the storm over here, that she was just a dog. And you know, it blew up and I didn't have that much money into it. And thank you to you guys for watching my videos because two of the videos got like over 100,000 views and that helped pay for this snowmobile right here. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, took the money, spent it back on the channel. And this is our new, our new machine. I think it's a much more suitable choice for a triple than, uh, than the Storm. So once again, before you guys freak out and go, oh, the Sidewinder's faster or all the four stroke sleds are faster. Yeah, I agree 100%. They're definitely faster than the sled. I hope to one day own one of those sleds. That would be freaking awesome. Uh, but this is definitely maybe one of the fastest triples the Yamaha ever made. I think you could definitely say it's the fastest triple the Yamaha ever made. Uh, this thing would probably romp on a Mountain Max. We're going to race some Mountain Maxes and prove that theory. <laughs> uh, but for the time in 2001, when this machine was made, probably maybe was the fastest sled that Yamaha made at that time. All right, let's not mess around. We know what everyone wants to see and that's under this hood we thought the reveal on the storm was good boom baby oh <laughs> what an upgrade it's even cleaner than the last machine even cleaner there's like no marks on any of the bolts it's never been apart it's got three pipes from the factory just like the storm did but this one's got electronic exhaust valves well it's got exhaust valves which the other one didn't have and then they're electronic too over here is their actuator <sighs> yeah i can't get enough of it it's so shiny it looks so good and it's got the right sticker i want to see on it if i'm gonna see a sticker i like seeing that one but i mean <laughs> it's just so clean i can't stop saying it can't stop saying it. Uh, it's got some stuff written over here like the other one. Uh, looks like they're uh, clutching, or excuse me, carb settings. They're jetting. Pilot jet, main jet, uh, jet needle. Uh, this looks like they're turned, so they're air screw, their fuel screw. I don't know why it says PS, but and then unfortunately that looks like it's gone. The belt. Um, might be new. It looks almost like a new belt. And it's just clean, dude. I really have nothing else to tell you guys other than it's it's just clean. And it's got lower miles than the other machine. It's got 2,336. Oh, I remembered why the SLP sticker is there because it goes into an SLP silencer. And it sounds pretty good. We'll run it for you guys here in a minute. This is the other big upgrade here at the shop. We got ourselves a little French bulldog. It's a boy. And his name is Octane. So everyone say hi to Octane. He hangs out here in the garage. And you guys, he really likes it. Nothing bothers him. The smell, the noise. He is meant for shop dog life out here. The hood's good, it's got no cracks. This Oakley sticker's gotta go. Windshield still intact, some scratches, but hey, not the end of the world. 
Down here on the suspension, it does not have the Olin's front suspension, which would have been really cool. Maybe one day I'll be able to get my hands on that. Everything's straight. Nothing's ever been hit or bent. Sway bars there, skis are here, original. It's all original, guys, other than that silencer. I mean, you look at this, this is all original too. The grips with the heat. I doubt this is original, but can't say for sure. It's still got the window or windows, the mirrors, yo, 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 on each side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the seat is in great condition. No rips or tears. Running boards are straight. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot. The skid is not original. I have the original skid. It came with, excuse me, skid, track. It came with the original track. And you can see the original track. It's got some baby lugs on it. And these lugs, they're a little bit bigger. Little bit more bite, which is nice. They're still pretty small. They look like an inch or so, uh, which is way smaller than the Storm. It's got cooling down the running boards like the Storm did. And cooler in there with a tunnel protector. Those strips on the side, they call that. To be honest with you guys, I think it could use a carb clean. I really do. Uh, it idles a little low. And I have not started it in a number of days. As you can see, we just opened up the garage. Octane is asleep. This will probably wake him up. Sorry, buddy. Oh, the kill switch doesn't work either. And there's no reverse on these. I said I would stop buying sleds without reverse, but I went ahead and did it again. What a good dog. What a good puppy. Doesn't even bother you. Doesn't even bother the guy. Still pretty cold. I don't want to I don't want to get rid of the beans while it's cold. But it sounds way different than my other triples. It sounds like a triple motorcycle. It is wild. See, it's got that low idle. It's probably supposed to be somewhere around there. But I gotta hold the throttle. Maybe just a little car clean. Guys, that's it. I listened to y'all. I went and got a way cooler triple. So yeah, the goal is still the same to turn this one into just a dedicated drag sled going A to B as fast as we can. That's the goal. I'm willing to sacrifice all like it's handling on the trail and it's comfort on the trail pff, out the door. Don't care. Uh, probably gonna change the gearing in this thing. We're gonna get this thing set up to run as quick as it can in whatever distance that we need to run it for. For the race, we haven't decided yet. We still gotta figure that out, hopefully in this next week, and then we can uh, start tuning on her. Well, I think that's gonna sum up the video here. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have this thing on snow and I'm gonna be racing everything I can. Brand new sleds, old sleds. Let's see how fast this thing really is. And then in the end of the year, we've got the Feeder 500 while well, I'll be drag racing it. So this is the new drag sled. I need a name. Help me with some names, guys. Send out a sticker pack to whoever I like has the best name.